Oh darn. I should have waited three minutes and I would have saved three cents a gallon, which would have been about 26 cents. Oh well, live and learn. Live and learn. <laughs> Another saying from my parents. <laughs> Love it. This is small town Elsinore. I think there's 645 people live here. I just saw a cute little business called Munch and Pump. How cute is that? Love it. Small town post office. Here we are. Look how pretty. Elsinore. I have a mini size keepsake box to mail with an empowerment too. That say it, display it. Wow, over there's a sign that says, this blood's for you. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, let's go inside and we're also getting our mail forwarding from Texas Home Base. Links in the description if you wanna know about it, about my mail forwarding. There, we can get a little closer. There was a truck in front of it before. It's a first and that's beautiful, beautiful. So I just picked up my priority mail. Yay, Texas home base. Where are you at, Texas home base? Here you are. And I'm excited. So go and open this in a, in a few. Headed to Pinewood Lake. I just talked to the postmaster and she said, it's just a little lake uh, where people park their campers. And people also live down there, but there's also a spot. And I found it on free campsites. I don't know if it's free or not. So come along, hope you'll join me. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. The official sign. Now we'll go in and see if there's a charge or if we're gonna stay here for the day or the night. This is only about two miles from Learjack Travel Center, so I could always go back there tonight as well. I'm not feeling like doing a whole lot of sightseeing with uh, the rain coming in and coming and going. We'll see. Wow, it's been a while since I've been in the forest. I think with Sandy in Washington was the last time. And that was, I don't know, September last year. Day use and campground. All right, piqued by interest. Doesn't look like there's a fee. I would think it would be right here if there was with a little box to drop your money. This is very cool. Now to decide whether I wanna stay here This also reminds me <laughs> of Washington <laughs> and the mice. Oh my gosh. I guess a little bit of that will be with me for always. For those of you who are new, I got mice in my trunk when I lived in my sedan. Although many people, even in RVs, had gotten mice too. Uh, rainy and water. <laughs> equals mice I don't know we'll see I'm gonna drive around if I was with somebody I would do this in a heartbeat just to have the company back here there's picnic tables and sites it's the forest I love it and the nature noises restrooms this definitely reminds me of when Sandy and I were looking for a campsite Wow, just pull in here and make a fire, which I yet have not done. <laughs> There's always a first. I don't have any wood. Everything is wet around here. And wow, when I was a camp host, I guess they don't have them here. Had to go around and clean up Although this stuff shouldn't be here to begin with. Hmm. Yes. Always the question, who does that? 
Slim Jim paper. Dang. And there's one over there. This is midweek. Did I just say that? And it looks like the lake is down below. I don't know. I don't have a book to read. I didn't check my internet service here. I just don't know if I want to be with me, myself, and I. I've done this before when I was in Nevada and I loved it, but there was people around coming and going and it was open with the mountains and the water. So I'm not sure. I really, really like the feeling and I really would dig this if I had some company. Wow, we could each have our own site and just visit. This has got to be free. I, I can't imagine it being a paid place otherwise. I mean, there would have been a gate at the front or there would have been an Iron Ranger to put your money in. So we'll drive all the way around and see the lake. I'm not even crocheting right now. I dropped that stuff off at the uh, storage fulfillment house in Texas. I could sit here and finish up my book, that's for sure. Make a meal, while away the hours. Thinking, thinking as I talk to you. Another sight from the window as I drive down to the lake. Beautiful. This is really something that this is free. You know, even if I don't stay here, I'm really excited to share this with you so that you know of somewhere to come in Elsinore, Missouri, maybe with your camper or RV or whatever. I don't have any, very little signal here. Very little signal. Here's the other side. Great place to take a walk. I mean, this is a great place to write, read, uh, listen to nature. Oh, there's a lot of wood there, but not that that would make a difference for me, but it's all wet too. Hmm. Look at that, right by the lake. Wow. How cool is this? I could just park there for the day. I don't know. It's getting me thinking. I love this, but I also love just seeing people coming and going. And I'm not sure. <laughs> this is so serene and so beautiful. Another one over here, tucked in. I bet this place gets really busy in the summer and the weekends. Little walking path down to the down to the uh, water over there. You can see the little place probably where you can fish, right? And then down the ways here we have somebody that is tent camping. Gotta love it. Maybe they're out fishing or maybe they're sleeping. It's almost 11 o'clock. Maybe they're out walking. I don't know. Big. Across from the restroom. And from on the other side of the lake here. Listen to those nature noises. A couple people up above walking their dogs. Which that also made me think, if I had a dog right now, this would be the perfect spot to stay for the day with your fur baby company. Oh, goodness. I don't choose rest areas over places like this if I was with company. 
I think you probably know that. You know, someone who could help me learn how to build a fire and we sit and talk and share a meal and all that good stuff that goes along with companionship. There's a parking space down there or a little loop. I think I'm going to go down there. And again, I have done this not in sites like this. I, w I was a camp host and that was what was so fantastic about that job makes me want to do that again is I had a site you know that I dro drove in and I was in this kind of nature all day every day until the mice ran me out of town I mean literally I I gave it my 110 percent to stay and it wasn't possible and that's when I went to Utah and worked there which that was a blessing in disguise the mice because then I got to have both Washington and Utah in one summer Wow, yep, when God closes a door, he opens another one. But uh, to just, and I, when I was in Nevada, that was campsites, but it wasn't in the forest. So I'm just trying to, you know, get a feel for just hanging out here without a pet, uh, not gonna build a fire. I don't have any internet service, which I know back in the day, that's a good thing. When Sandy and I were together, we, we barely had signal and, you know, that promotes conversation, which I'm all for that. <laughs> I'm all for people talking to one another. Uh, I wouldn't mind if the internet went away, to tell you the truth, other than uh, being thankful that I can use it for my channel and to communicate with you and to have new friends, that wouldn't be possible without social media and the internet. Um, even writing my book, you know, just, wow. Some more of what shouldn't be with that trash. Wow. And I'm not spooked at all. I mean, I could definitely stay here all night. Um, I just don't know if I wanna, you know, just, it's a little on the cool side. I would go for a walk and then I would eat and then I would come back to Happy Haven and I'm not gonna put up my clam for just a night or two. I think I'm just gonna head on down the road and uh, look at those beautiful flowers. It was worth it to come out just to see those. And who knows? Maybe one day I'll be back with company. And if not, I shared with you a beautiful place for you to put on your bucket list to come and camp. And for that, it's worth it. Huge double spot here. Wow, this is making me miss my camp host job. <laughs> I decided to drive around one more time. I'm also missing <laughs> camping with somebody like I did with Sandy. That was like, that was up there on the list of uh, wonderful things that I've done on this journey. Thank you, Sandy. So, I think this is really showing. I am a traveler, not a camper, though I love camping with company. And I'm also a nature lover, not a camper. But with company, I get the best of both. Being a camper, being out in nature as a camper, if that makes any sense. So as a traveler, I get to see nature. Sandy and I camping was at state parks also. So that's different, but I'm loving the reminiscing. This is uh, definitely uh, remote <laughs> camping compared to where we were. Uh, there was people, yeah, all over the place all the time where you have lots of privacy here. Lots of serenity, lots of simplicity, lots of living in nature. Ooh. It's hard for me to leave.
Look at that. So I'm going to open my mail. I have a couple, two notes from you guys. <gasps> my first notes from my mail forwarding, uh, sent to my mail forwarding address. I'm so excited. Look how fun. A handmade card, the very best. Set the sail in the direction of your dreams. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hi, Linda. Oh, Rita, thank you. Handmade with love by Rita. I will keep this forever. Thank you, thank you. Look, my mail forwarding address. And then this was interesting. Uh, now the end begins. Are you ready for what comes next? Interesting being sent to me because, um, yes, I know Jesus as my Lord and Savior. But I guess I can ask you, are you ready for what comes next? And give some scripture. I have accepted Jesus into my heart, the sinner's prayer. And we're good. And I'm looking forward. So with that... Blessings in your day and joy in the journey, whatever direction you head. Thank you for the mail, the personal mail, and thank you for being with me here to share my journey and my thoughts today. Later. One more thing, I forgot. I'm going to check out the day use and see if I can get down closer to the water. I wonder what these piles of logs like this. Is that firewood that you can just pick up, maybe? That's pretty cool. It's a first. They're all over the place. Piles separated with wood. Check it out. Yeah. I was so engrossed in the forest that I didn't see the trees. Little pavilion areas. Cute. There's a bench to sit a spell and a picnic table right down by the water. Yeah. This is giving me some additional ideas something that I am highly considering doing next year or I should say offering to all of you next year not going to share it now you'll have to keep watching I don't want to share it until I've solidified the plan I am thrilled that the Lord brought me down here I'm also thrilled that I was able to share that mail because even though that piece of knowing the Lord uh, was not uh, something that I needed personally, but uh, God has his way of sharing with others and that is so cool. So thank you for sending that to me. Without you sending that, I would not have been able to share in the same way. Just wanted to let you know. Alrighty. I guess that'll about do her. That was a long one more thing. But sometimes you'll have that from me. I'm excited that I was able to reminisce. Uh, even the camping that I did with Sandy. Uh, we had, were actually, we were in one pretty commercialized, but it was during the holiday. It was during Labor Day, and the other one was uh, more a feel like this. So it's, I'm doing some recall now, and I look forward to doing some camping like this in the future uh, with company. Oh my gosh, God has good things in store as we drive close to the water. We'll leave you with that.
how pretty. Oh, it's beautiful. And looks like a walking trail. Lovely. Later.